Hi class, so this is in regards to our week 5 reflection video. Uh, the first question, explain re your reaction to, to how Fred lived out his job. Uh, motivational speaker Mark San Sanborn talks about his reaction with Fred, the mailman, when he moved to Denver. My reaction at first was that Fred seems to be up to something, but not sure what, until he mentions that bur uh, burglars usually look for people that have a lot of mail in their mailbox, because then they are... They know that you are out of town. Although being a mailman seems like nothing more than just to deliver mail, Fred made it known that he was much more than just a mailman. He cared for the people that he delivered their mail to. Even though he could have gone throughout his regular daily routine like most mailmen do, Fred didn't. Fred ensured that not only was their mail going to get delivered, but he came up with ideas and strategies while even making extra sacrifices to ensure that their mail would be safe and that, that the burglars wouldn't see an overflowed mailbox to give them a chance to see that he was out of town. Fred could have just done what so many people do as a mailman or other professions, but he took the time to introduce himself to get to know Mr. Sandburn and make sure that his house and privacy was safe. Uh, in terms of the second question, what principles can you take from the scripture discussion above and Fred's story and integrate it into your own life? Uh, the fact that Fred didn't look at his job as just a job, but he looked at his job as a way to take care for, uh, as a way to take care of people. This is what we can see above in the scripture that Fred was a caring man that cared so much for his people, just like the Lord wants us to do. No matter how little or small someone's job may be, it doesn't take away from the fact that we can all care for each other and look out for one another. At 542 in the clip, Fred says, The only thing I worry about when I lay in bed at night is, did I waste any of the day that I just finished? Mr. Sandburn ends his presentation at 601 saying, Fear nothing but to waste the present moment. Just like Jesus cares for us, Fred cared for his people, and although it may not seem like a big deal to most of us, it's the fact that Fred was doing God's work by just showing love, sympathy, and compassion for those who he delivered the mail to. The principles I can use from Fred in this clip in my personal life is when I'm educating my students as well as my players, since I'm a coach, is to always be in the present with them. Too often I think it's easy for people in any job to always look forward to getting through the day or looking ahead to the weekend. As a coach, it can be easy to get up to get caught up in the practice game or the day's lesson that we forget that at any moment our students and and in my case players could be going through something that is very important and we need to be able to live in the present so we can be aware of these things because we don't know what something said or not said at a particular one moment in time can do for someone in their life. The only, the only time I feel in the present moment, although it's hard not to get caught up in the moment during games, is, is when I'm coaching and teaching. There have been numerous times that players call or send me a message days, months, or years later and say, Coach, remember when you said this to me? Which sometimes I do, but most of the time I don't. They go on to tell me that this was the turning point in how they thought about their lives and how it helped me, how it helped uh, them get through a hard moment. And had they not gone through that moment, who knows what bad things that one thought could have domino affected into. Just like Mr. Sandburn's final quote mentioned, it's true that we must live and be in the present, care for others, and help people by living for God, especially us as educators, on a minute-to-minute -minute basis. Thanks.